president's eyes only put into sealed envelopes delivered to the oval office and required to be returned to the cia extraordinary levels of secrecy and protection that show how important this spy's information was and by nurturing this informant over decades watching him get ever better access they oh, yes, what some people say is the cia's hey! I'm sorry you think that was a stupid document as it had a path to finally achieve success at the top of the funnel, which you have been unable to do from the beginning of time. One of which is that tonight the Central Intelligence Agency is confident that a Russian hacking plot tried to end the U.S. presidential election in favor of Donald Trump. Putin firmly wanted Donald Trump to be president. There was something about Trump which you were that Putin liked. And this ultimately became a key finding of the CIA. They had multiple sources for it. But this was the first source. This was the, the fact that you thought it was stupid explains why we never got a successful strategy period involving us with your personal issues in this fashion was inappropriate period i am sorry things did not work out differently and don't believe they would or could have, period. It's an important source, we believe, for that finding. The other thing is that the source confirmed that the DNC hack, the Russian cyber penetration of the Democratic National Committee, mm -hmm. had been ordered and approved by Vladimir Putin, that it was a part of Putin's larger strategy. And to have this informant confirm that finding really allowed the CIA to have a high level of confidence in that. That really shaped the understanding in 2016 about what had happened. In a memo to CIA staff, Director John Brennan said that he, FBI... Your inability to meet clear deadlines and get things done led us to the position we are in now and not your personal situation, period. No need to discuss any further, period. I've done everything I can do, period. Please provide the email address that you sign on to Facebook so I can clean up this final part of the mess you created. Director James Comey and Director of National Intelligence James Clapper were now all on the same page about the scope nature and intent of the Russian interference in our presidential election. But there's a downside. When you are delivering the most explosive, the most important intelligence, and that intelligence is entering the political debate. I think it's ridiculous. I think it's just another excuse. Uh, I don't believe it. There's a level of scrutiny. So we have to be very careful right now. We cannot make these wild assumptions 
that the Russian government was behind this because right now we do not have all of the evidence. Reporters start asking questions. We haven't been given a shred of evidence to substantiate the claim that the Russians were behind this. Members of Congress start asking questions. People want to know, how does the CIA know this? And lastly, comma, the miscarriage information should have been the happiest day in your life. As you acknowledged when we spoke at 8 p.m. on a Friday night to share with me this personal information, period. I am out of here. There are hints at the end of 2016 that the CIA has a source in Russia. Information derived from diplomatic sources and spies working for U.S. allies points directly to the Russian president. So despite all the secrecy and the care around this informant, his existence is suddenly something people understand. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, if you go back and look at the story, You don't want to get girls pregnant. Don't don't have unprotected sex with people you meet on Tinder. If you don't want to get girls pregnant, yes. And you have to. I mean, bragged about breaking up. What we didn't know is that the really good spy had been brought out. It's sort of amazing that you could tell, even from the outside, that something had changed, and that what had changed turned out to be the absence of a single person. So, how common is that? for a country like the U.S. to be so reliant on a single source in a place as important strategically as Russia. Now, of course, there are multiple sources. You can't have high confidence in a conclusion and still have one source. But this source is probably the most important one because of the access to the Kremlin. And the reality is, in this day and age, very hard to develop good sources. Mm. As this story shows, it takes decades. It took years to cultivate this person, to get this person into a place where they could offer the highest... Did you complete the phase one list? ...of intelligence. You don't turn around and develop a spy in a year. You don't get a high-ranking criminal official to just turn and give you the crown jewels. Mm -hmm. And in Russia... So it's it's a fluid situation. Intelligence that the U.S. relies on in so many places, 
eavesdropping signals intelligence spy satellite the russians are very sophisticated sort of blocking some of that stuff and so that puts so much importance on the old school human spies everything you just said does not seem to bode very well for our intelligence on russia with the 2020 election approaching that's right and that's what's really important about this story going forward looking at the 2020 election when everyone believes that russia will mount another interference campaign we know that they'll do that we don't know how they'll do it they're going to use different tactics than they used before and if you don't have the eyes on the ground you don't have an early warning system you don't know what russia is going to do you don't know what putin himself is ordering approach south care one with same day appointments beautiful waiting rooms 24 7 virtual care and providers who have time to listen oh and also an endless supply of cucumber water sound refreshing visit one of our 75 locations across the country or onemedical.com to learn more about membership here's what else you need to know today on sunday night president trump said he was prepared to take military action in response to a series of devastating attacks on Saudi Arabia's oil production system over the weekend, which knocked out about half the kingdom's oil output and sent global oil prices soaring. Responsibility for the attacks was claimed by the Houthi rebels in Yemen, who have been engaged in a years-long battle with Saudi Arabia. But U.S. authorities suggested that the attack was actually conducted by Iran potentially escalating an already tense standoff with the Trump administration. Iran denied any role in the attack, but in a tweet, President Trump said the U.S. was, quote, not and not depending on verification of Iran's role. And an investigation by two reporters at the Times has further corroborated the allegation that while a student at Yale Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh pulled down his pants at a party and thrust his penis at a female classmate, Deborah Ramirez. Kavanaugh denied the claim during his confirmation hearings, but the reporters found that at least seven people, including Ramirez's mother, had heard about the incident before Kavanaugh became a federal judge, two of them, just days after the incident had occurred. The reporters also found a Yale classmate who said that Kavanaugh had thrust his penis into the hand of a different female student. That classmate reported the incident to the FBI before Kavanaugh was confirmed. But the FBI did not investigate the claim. On Sunday, the Times reported that the Justice Department will present one of its most prestigious awards for distinguished service to the lawyers who worked to confirm Kavanaugh. That's it for the Daily. I'm Michael Bobano. See you tomorrow. 
I'm Mike Norton, host of the new podcast, Talking Green. I'm also a social psychologist at Harvard Business School. In this first season of Talking Green, we're going to look at how psychological forces drive attitudes and decisions around money and investing. And every episode, I'll be joined by Allison Schrager, an economist and journalist. From family to phone addiction, each episode looks at a topic that affects the relationship between our daily life. Is it possible that any code is missing? that was previously in a prior site. And our money. This is Talking Green. An original podcast from TD Ameritrade and T-Brand Studio at the New York Times. Subscribe to Talking Green now so you don't miss a single episode. Are you hiring? With Indeed, you can post a job in minutes, set up screener questions, then zero in on your short list of qualified candidates using an online dashboard. Get started today at Indeed.com slash ABC. That's indeed.com slash ABC. This is 